Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to our Easter family celebration. Uh, today is a good morning because of the good news we share in our Easter greeting. Let's stand together. Christ is risen. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen, risen indeed. Alleluia. As we stand, we pray together. <coughs> Lord oh God, God, as we hear the news of the empty tomb and celebrate that Jesus is alive, receive our praise and our prayers. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing our opening hymn, See What a Morning. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we read that by his power, God raised the Lord from the dead, and he will raise us also. We seek the Lord's powerful help and his great mercy as we pray. Let us pray. Lord God, you raised your son from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, through you we are more than conquerors. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you help us in our weakness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's stand together. Since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Amen. 
Please be seated for our Bible reading. A reading from Mark chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb. And they asked each other, who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in white robe, sitting on the right side. And they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Let's pray together. Father, help us to think about that first Easter morning and the good news of that day. Show us what it means so that we can praise you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There are some things that you don't want to find that are empty. Okay? So, you get up in the morning and you're hungry and you're ready for your breakfast and you get out a bowl and you're ready for your cereal and you open the box only to discover that there's nothing left in it, that it's empty. And so there's nothing left and you can't have your favourite cereal for breakfast. Who would agree with me that an empty box isn't a good thing? Anyone agree with me? Yes? Ever had that happen to you? Yes, a few people. That's few. Well, not so good, but you know what I mean. Or you're driving along in the car and the red light's on and you think, oh, I'll be able to manage. I'll get to the next petrol station. That ever happened to anyone? Fuel tank empty. Quite a few confessions this morning, that's good. It happened to me once, but I wasn't driving. Uh, I was still at school, and our school was playing in the high school's cup final at Ravenhill uh, in rugby. And we had left Remore, and we only made it to the Hillsborough roundabout four miles when suddenly the bus had no diesel. And by the time the man worked out what he was going to do and send for somebody to come, we missed the rugby match. But they still took us to Belfast for the final whistle. So so who would agree that an empty tank isn't a good thing? Quite a few people. What about this one? So you've got a great big Easter egg. It's lint, it's the good chocolate. And the wee chocolate balls are there too, and a great big egg. And you're looking forward to it. You can see where this is going, can't you? (laughs) Only to discover (laughs) that it's empty. Now don't blame Lindsay. Just as in our reading, the egg is not here, it's in a safe place. 
at home. Hopefully I'll get some of it later. The empty box definitely isn't a good thing. There are some things that we don't want to find empty. And I'm sure you can think of plenty of examples in your day-to-day -day life of things that you hope are full but are actually empty. But actually there's one thing that it was really good that it was empty. Our Bible reading begins with Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome. Their friend Jesus had died. They had watched as he had been crucified on Friday. They had seen where he was buried. He was laid in a tomb with a big stone rolled across the entrance. So the tomb was occupied on Friday afternoon. It wasn't empty. And they had been sad. And so after Sabbath was over on Saturday evening, they had bought spices to bring to anoint Jesus' body. You see, they thought that the tomb was still occupied. They weren't even sure how they would be able to roll the big stone away from the entrance. It was so heavy. But when they had arrived, the stone was rolled away. A young man dressed in white and the angel was sitting waiting for them to tell them the good news. He says, don't be alarmed. You're looking for Jesus the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So where is Jesus? He's not in the tomb anymore. The tomb that had been occupied is now empty. Because Jesus, who was crucified, is now raised to life again. He is alive. And that is good news. So while it might, might not be good that your cereal box is empty when you go to it in the morning, or the fuel tank is empty, or even this Easter egg box is empty, it's really, really good that the tomb was empty. Jesus has defeated death. We don't need to be afraid anymore because the tomb is empty because Jesus is alive. Let's pray. <coughs> Lord Jesus, we thank you for the empty tomb because you rose from the dead. Help us, Lord, to trust in you and to share in the hope that you give. Help us to enjoy this Easter because of you and what you have done for us. We ask this for your glory. Amen. Now the choir are going to come and sing, What is our hope in life and death? Christ alone. Christ alone.
Let us pray. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations in those places where war rages. And especially we pray for Ukraine and for Russia. Risen Lord Jesus, receive our prayer jesus bread of life give food to the hungry prosper the work of local food banks and nourish us all with your word risen lord jesus receive our prayer jesus our way our truth our life be with us and all who follow you in the way Bless Archbishop John and this Diocese of Armagh. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Risen Lord Jesus, receive our prayer. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for your sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. Risen Lord Jesus, receive our prayer. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, comfort those who mourn today and remind them of the hope we have in you. Bring us with all your people to share in your eternal kingdom. Risen Lord Jesus, receive our prayer amen we stand together as we declare our faith in the words of this creed we say together christ died for our sins according to the scriptures he was buried he was raised to life on the third day according to the scriptures afterwards he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles this we have received and this we believe amen we sing jesus christ is risen today alleluia
Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. The Lord is here. His prayer is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Father Almighty and ever living God, at all times and in all places, it is right to give you thanks and praise. Above all, we praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, the true Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. And so with all your people, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of God, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, all the power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the night. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the night. Blessed are you, Father, the creator and sustainer of all things. You made us in your own image. Male and female, you created us. Even when we turned away from you, you never cease to care for us. But in your love and mercy, you freed us from the slavery of sin, giving your only begotten Son to become man, and suffer death on the cross to redeem us. We may bear the one complete and all sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. He instituted, and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks to you, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, with this bread and this cup, we do as Christ your soul commanded. We remember his passion and death, we celebrate his resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, grant by the power of the life-giving Spirit, that we may be made one in your holy church, and partakers of the body and blood of your Son, that he may dwell in us, and we in him. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, Saviour Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection, 
you have delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily unto sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Tonight, our Easter celebrations continue with our Easter praise service at 6.30 p.m. And this afternoon at three o'clock, there's a memorial service for Jack McNally. Thank you to the choir, to Jean and Jim uh, for their hard work in preparing for Holy Week and Easter, and to all who helped to set up and uh, help with the prayer room, uh, and all the organisations who decorated the church for today. In your pew, uh, hopefully you will find a little green booklet um, Easter in three words, and you're very welcome to take those away, uh, read them while you're waiting on your dinner, or uh, pass them on to someone else uh, who would like to read it too. Next Sunday, our services are at 11 a.m. and 6.30 as usual. And coming up in May, we have an auction on the 21st of May. Uh, please keep saleable items until near the time. Right, so it happens that today, the third Sunday of the month, is our family service for April. Uh, so we don't forget about the April birthday. So if you have a birthday in April, uh, then put your hand up and we have some birthday chocolate for you. sing but if it's your birthday in April and I've given you chocolate then please stand up. Mary and Keith and Ian and Will and Julie and I invite you to sing to us happy birthday. Jesus gives us the victory because he is the risen <coughs> conquering son. We stand and sing, thine be the glory. <coughs> 